Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in on my channel. I am Pat, coming to you from the north part of Belgium. And, uh, well, in this video I will look back uh, to this week because uh, it, it was my first week that I was on retirement. And today it's Friday, so and I was looking back what I did this whole week and uh, well I can tell you that my week was simply too short um, the beginning of this week I was starting to clean up the apartment here because my wife has to go to work so it's pretty normal that I do the work here so I was cleaning uh, the apartment, I uh, was well, taking the walks with uh, the dogs, sometimes three times a day, and uh, in the, the morning walks are quite long. So I'm making dinner, uh, well I do a lot of stuff, and uh, finally I, I see that I don't find the time to do my activities, my little acting, taking some pictures in nature, whatever. So my, my free time activities, I don't have the time for that. So I definitely must reorganize my life. And uh, yeah, that's definitely what I have to do. So <clears throat> actually today I want to go out for metal detecting because when you follow my videos, you saw that the field that I want to go uh, on for detecting uh, for uh, several months they they don't cut the grass so it was pretty high and I, I don't I, I didn't can can go on that field now they cut the grass and finally there is a possibility to start my to start my metal detecting on it but the former uh, put some uh, fertilizers on it and they 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 shoot they shoot it in the soil so i was checking the field yesterday and there was a smell you know uh, you know what they put on fields here in belgium uh they put on pure shit so <laughs> when you're gonna make a hole in 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 the soil there you make a hole in pure shit. So I have to wait several days that uh, that the fertilizers are getting into the soil completely when some rain is falling on it that, that they are gone. But at this moment, well, that field is really blocking me this year. Uh, it seems that that field didn't like that I coming on that field to do uh, metal detecting making holes in the soil so I have to wait so I decided to stay home making a video like this I uh, maybe gonna clean uh, some pipes of mine here uh, well being busy easy and quiet so no stress just staying home with the dogs and that's it now um, I'm smoking my Winslow pipe this is the pipe that I was buying for uh, well my, my lost pipe that I was buying several weeks ago and uh, yeah it's a good smoker and in it is the McBurn Ambrosia you see now, the people who know me and who follow my videos, they know that I'm not smoking aromatics. But my wife, she's smoking some pipes too, and she loves to smoke aromatics. So I order uh, some aromatic blends to find out which one she really likes and which one she don't like. So I try them also, and I must say, uh, I'm not a aromatic smoker, but some of them are really good. So this one here, 
uh, it tastes uh, as coffee. So, and I like to to to, to smoke that. So, uh, and there are some other aromatics uh, from rattlers that I like to smoke regular. Not all all uh, not every day, but regular. And yeah, I like them, uh, especially in the evening when we're sitting outside. Uh, enjoying a pipe, an aromatic, yeah, I like it. I like to do that. So, yeah. Well, they were quite good, some of them, not all, but yeah, there is a change in my smoking experience from tobacco. So, but anyway, most of the time I'm smoking the HU tobaccos. I love them the most to smoke them, and uh, well, sometimes an aromatic. Now my wife, uh, she's she she was vaping, and she was always vaping mint, you know. And she asked me, "Is there a a, a, a tobacco that have a mint taste?" So I was watching, uh, checking out some websites in Germany, uh, tobacco online websites in Germany. I asked. Uh, the people where we're getting our tobacco in Germany if they can get it, but it's not possible to get mint tobacco pipe tobacco mint uh, in Germany in Belgium or wherever So uh, but for uh, a week ago my daughter uh, She was going to Luxembourg to buy cigarettes because uh, tobacco uh, and gas there in Luxembourg is much cheaper than in Belgium and Germany so she was uh, accidentally find a pipe tobacco with mint. Now my wife was smoking this morning the first time that uh, mint pipe tobacco and she likes it. So we can get it in Luxembourg. So that was uh, the story about uh, the uh, tobacco, what was going on this week. And uh, yeah, it was it's great to be on retirement, but you definitely uh, must reorganize your life and find your way because you're thinking that you had a lot of time, but days are really going fast. And I think that the guys who are on retirement, wherever you live, it's the same. So time is going really fast and you don't find the time to do your activities so yeah I must find out how I gonna uh, reorganize that uh, part of my new life uh, here so yeah I must definitely find out how I gonna deal with that and uh, I have also got a present from my my work. Um, it's a very nice present for my uh, career of 40 years of service. And it's a very nice present that I have getting from them. I'm going to show you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to carry that with honor. And this is the present, you see, that's a, a beautiful watch, so uh, it's a Citizen and it's a, an Eco Drive radio control it, so yeah that's really a great watch to carry. Um, I always carry the uh, Psycho, this one here, you see, this is a military watch, but uh, I'm going to carry this too with complete full honor, so I'm very happy with this present, yeah, and uh, well, they're going to see me definitely back on work, regular. I'm going to drink there uh, in the cantina a coffee or, well, talk a little, with, a little bit with my ex-colleagues when they are in a break. So, 
they're going to see me there. Uh, no problem. So, uh, yeah, it's quite nice, uh, quite a nice present. And uh, I have some news, too, uh, for myself, to you. Finally, uh, I, I always, uh, my cell phone here, i just using a simple cell phone. Because, actually, I am against, uh, against the smartphones. You know why? Uh, when, you're, uh, when you're going in traffic, everybody is playing with a smartphone. Uh, when they are in a car or on a bicycle or when you sit somewhere uh, the people what they are doing is they're gonna sit down take their smartphone and they are completely gone from this world but finally I order a uh, what my daughter she's ordering a smartphone for me now I'm definitely not gonna put a lot of apps on it. Uh, I'm only gonna use it to watch on the security cameras here, on the security uh, stuff that we have here in the apartment, so that I keep a, a close eye on the dogs when I'm not at home. And I put Google Maps on it and uh, the weather forecast app. So, and well, I can staying in touch with the world when uh, I need to so um, I finally uh, in a few days I gotta get my uh, my own iPhone but um, I'm gonna definitely not put it on with a lot of apps and <clears throat> I'm only gonna use it when I'm I need it so not like uh, that bunch of people who are using their smartphones when they're driving a car or sitting on their bicycle or sit down because I'm a quiet uh, social person so I like to talk with, per with, with people but uh, as an example when you're going to a doctor's office and you have to wait when people going to sit down, the first thing the first thing that they do is taking their smartphone, and they are completely gone from this world. So then I'm sitting there, and uh, yeah, you don't can talk to people. And as I said, I'm 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 quite social person, so I like to talk with persons with with people, talking about random stuff and uh, you're never too old to learn something from other people so that's uh that's my goal but when everybody's sitting down there uh, watching on their smartphones yeah nah i don't like that at all but well i'm gonna get one by myself and uh but i'm definitely not gonna use it when i uh, sit down somewhere or I, when i'm in the car or no way I'm not gonna do that definitely and I'm I'm I'm, I'm very sharp to myself that I, I'm not gonna do that because it turns you crazy uh, but it, it's uh, well it's an easy way to see your emails check your Facebook uh, and or, or some messages that you get and uh, see the uh, the weather app and yeah that's why I, how I gotta use my iPhone, but um, I'm a guy. Uh, when they need me, I they don't can reach me because I have this phone. But in most cases, I put it somewhere and I'm not available. So <laughs> and that's gonna be the same with that iPhone, definitely. So uh, yeah, it's a kind of drugs. Uh, those iPhones but uh, I uh, yeah I'm definitely I, I'm gonna got one but I'm not gonna use it like uh, as, as many people so that's for sure well uh, that's what I have to say in this video so I'm gonna make a final on it uh, 
I'm free today. My wife is is uh, off work today, Friday, and she's uh, shopping. Uh, she's going shopping with uh, our daughter, so I'm completely home alone. And my job here in the apartment is done, uh, but I'm just gonna stay home and take it easy. Maybe kind of drink a, a beer out outdoors there outside, sun shining. It's about 25 degrees centigrade, and uh, yeah, always imagine that I'm always drinking non-alcoholic beer, so I don't drink alcoholics, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my staying here with the dogs and uh, maybe going to capture some airplanes flying over with my Nikon P1000. It has an enormous zoom range so uh, yeah I can bring it very close to to my eyes and taking a picture of it. So in the coming videos you're going to see maybe some pictures that I was taking here from my place out uh, outside Anyway, I see that my battery is running uh, empty, so I gotta quit here with this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. You're up to date uh, now from what I was doing this week. So uh, the only thing I can say now is take care, be safe wherever you are, and I see you very soon again on the next one. Bye for now.